We frequently hear about the word lean in manufacturing, and now it is also becoming popular in supply chain management. But what does it mean for a supply chain to be lean? In manufacturing, lean describes the method that maximizes productivity while simultaneously minimizing waste. In particular, it refers to the reduction of three types of waste. Processes and activities that don't add value, unstable production schedules, and overburdening workers and machines beyond their limits. This concept has been catching on in the supply chain management. A lean supply chain also aims at eliminating waste through better inventory control and streamlining all the processes in the supply chain, including manufacturing, warehousing, transportation, returns, and so on. However, supply chains are by nature very complex and all-encompassing, involving many different activities, teams, endless decisions, and all that whilst continuously adapting to fluctuating demand. In addition, supply chains frequently see conflicting incentives and points of view. For example, a warehouse manager or the central procurement aims at reducing inventory to cut costs, whilst a store manager on the other hand would rather avoid any stockouts as much as possible and thus wants to stock up on the products. A store manager may expect a spike in demand for a particular product and thus stock up on it, leaving less product for other retail locations. Making things smoother for the store manager would mean making sure he is never out of stock and can easily return products. But making things smoother at the warehousing level would, on the contrary, mean sacrificing the performance of certain stores for the sake of others with a faster rotation. At the same time, promoting only faster rotating stores will be damaging in the long term for the retail network as some stores' performance might drop dramatically. In manufacturing, making step A leaner followed by B followed by C tends to make the whole production leaner. In supply chain, on the other hand, a leaner step in A could create problems for step B. Aligning incentives would eliminate this issue, of course, however, this is not easy and sometimes not even feasible to do. It is certainly hard to give incentives to individuals on the performance of the company or the supply chain as a whole. But say we do implement a new initiative. How do we actually measure its impact and choose the right KPI for it? In other words, how do we measure how much waste has actually been reduced? The answer is, in fact, simple, yet seldom applied in practice the financial impact of every decision. The return on investment of every action should be compared, weighted, and prioritized accordingly. If we go back to our example with the warehouse and the stores, which is the best inventory decision? Well, it depends on the economic driver that affects the business. What is the probability of selling the stock? Probability of stock out? How costly is the stock for the company? And is this a product with a high inventory cost? To summarize, a lean supply chain aims at maximizing efficiency and reducing waste. Yet, achieving that is far more challenging than in lean manufacturing, as making one step in the supply chain more lean can have the opposite effect on another step. Nonetheless, to properly measure this impact, one must look at the financial impact of every action taken in the supply chain. The higher the return on investment, the leaner the supply chain as a whole.